helping children learn time management skills in the Montessori environment. Meet David. As a second grader in a Montessori charter school, David's reputation preceded him. He's wild. He's willful. He's lazy. I had nightmares about this little boy before I even met him. As open and non-judgmental as I tried to be, I soon found David living up to his reputation. David was a master at looking busy. He looked for work and sometimes even got it out. He walked around making sure everyone else was working. He watered plants. He ate snack, often. He enjoyed socializing and clowning around. But David never finished any work. After some careful observation, it became clear that David wasn't avoiding work. He had just never been shown how to work. His mother told me she did not believe he had ADHD and did not want him medicated. I completely agreed, so I set in place a plan to teach David how to complete a work cycle. I met with David each morning to help him choose his work. We began with two works. I asked him to bring all the materials to his table, gave him a lesson, and then, most importantly, I asked him how long he thought it would take him to complete the work. If he said 10 minutes, I'd look at the clock and show him 10 minutes and tell him, Okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes. No matter what I was doing, I made sure I returned in 10 minutes. He was surprised to see how quickly time passed. He was disappointed he was not done. That's okay. Would you like to continue working on this? How much time do you think you'll need? 20 minutes? Okay, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Another thing I did for David was to create some graphic organizers that helped him anticipate major transitions during the day. I used a different colored file folder for each day of the week. Inside each folder was his work journal for the day, as well as any work that I had pulled for him. On the outside of the folder was the day's schedule, complete with clock faces showing the time for each major transition. At the beginning of the day, David would get his folder, and at a glance, he was able to plan his morning work cycle. This empowered him to make good work choices and he was able to experience more success when he felt like he was in control of his day. This cycle went on for a few weeks. As David realized I was true to my word and consistently came back when I said I would, he began to work in earnest. He learned to complete a work from start to finish and if it took longer than he thought it was okay because I was always there to allow more time. Through the use of the file folders, David also learned time management. He learned how long something would actually take. He developed more internal monitoring and was able to focus and concentrate for longer periods of time. He went from the wild child to one who came in smiling in the morning, giving me a hug and getting out his work. What worked for David was consistency. He knew I was holding him accountable. I never punished or got angry when the work was not finished, nor did I reward him when it was done. I simply kept checking until he could self-monitor. David, how do you feel having completed your work today? Miss Michelle, I feel great. 